Beslin, what stands out about Notre Dame's offensive line and that rushing attack they have? Uh, Notre Dame's a really good team. Um, you know, they pride themselves on their line play. Uh, they got, you know, their starters have a lot of experience. They played a lot of ball, and, um, you know, it shows on film. Desmond, what does it say about a quarterback when he's got two more touchdown runs than passes? And what's the dual challenge there with Book? Well, we obviously you know he, he's he's good with his feet. You know, he can extend plays. Um, so, you know, just trying to keep him in a pocket, you know, and, and give him pressure that way is the best thing that we're focusing on. Desmond, you taking some snaps inside in the uh, – Sorry, I can't hear you. He broke up. I said you were taking some snaps inside in the Miami game. Uh, how do you like moving inside? Is it tougher with all that traffic and you have to gain any weight to get in there? Um, no, um, you know, I'm, I'm just willing to service our team any way we need it. Um, coach played me there and, and I was ready for it. Deslin, with Notre Dame, they're kind of like a, I don't know, it's like a more of a power team, I guess, than, than what you see typically in the ACC, a lot more two tight ends. They run the ball a lot more. Well, what does that do to your game plan? How does that impact the way you guys prepare? Well, um, you know, leading up to the game, we know that, you know, they're strong inside. Uh, so, you know, we're trying to find, um, fine tune our technique that way. Uh, we're going to um, run technique a little bit better. Um, be ready to transition when it's pass. What's it been like for you as you kind of move moving around uh, and seeing some of these really young guys getting an opportunity? I, I was watching one play. It was you were you were inside and you had DeAndre Jules next to you and and Dayon Hayes on the other end. Uh, a couple guys that are just real real young and inexperienced. What's it been like uh, playing with those guys and getting them uh, some playing time? You know those guys are hungry, man. They they're, they're willing to learn. Um, you know when their opportunity comes, they don't shy away from it, man. So it's like I'm really excited for them. You know on both sides, two young guys. You know who put put the work in and ready to to show up on Saturdays. Does and coach. Go ahead, John. Oh, thanks. Um, you were a guy, obviously, last year who stepped in when Rashad went down. There have been a lot of, you know, or a handful of injuries on this defense now through six weeks. Um, how do you feel your teammates have, you know, uh, you have that whole next man up kind of deal? How do you think you guys as a defense is kind of, you know, embody that or embrace that? As um, yeah, I think we, 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 we chat around that, you know, in practice, like, you know, we hold everybody to the same standard um, as, as when we go through drills, through, um, through team periods. So um, we, we're ready for that. The young guys, they don't get treated any different. You know, they, they, they train the same way, they prepare the same way. So when their time comes, they're ready. Deslin, Coach Bates was telling us, you know, you're just one or two plays away from being where you want to be. How difficult is that as a player to know you're that close and how do you clean up those couple of plays? Well, um, it, it all comes down to detail. Um, the little details that, you know, as far as like from, from a D-line or our alignments, um, how, how we come off the ball, all those play, in, you know, at the end of the game, those, those details get magnified. So we try to, you know, in practice, you know, cross our T's, dot our I's um, and everything we do uh, to put us in position to win. I'll stay consistent. I asked Daniel, I'll ask this at you the same thing. Uh, first game at Heinz Field with some fans, some of your uh, students and everything in the stands are going to make a difference. Are you going to feed off that? Uh, it would be exciting, you know, to finally get the college football atmosphere at home. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's still football, man, man, man. man. So um, all that extra stuff is, 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 is awesome. You know, we're happy to have fans again. Uh, but we just focus on trying to get them there. Deslin, do you have any family um, or friends coming up from Florida for the game? Uh, no, well, I got a chance to see some of my family um, down South Florida last weekend, but no, not this week. Desmond, are you getting most of your snaps inside a tackle or at end, or are you splitting time at practice? Um, right now, you know, we just I'm playing end. Um, if coach needs me, and, and I think he addressed that uh, when the time comes. Desmond, their uh, you know their offensive line is a bunch of guys that are. Uh, you know, highly they were highly recruited coming out of high school. They're, 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 you know, experienced college players. A lot of them are good pro prospects. How much do you personally look forward to that kind of challenge? Um, you know, knowing that you got a lot of high rated guys that, 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 you know, that turns almost a switch on um, in your head, but, you know, we, we look at every opponent the same. We don't look down on opponent and we don't we try not to look up on opponent, but um, you're definitely ready to play, especially against guys uh, who are highly rated. 